A new report out from the Wall Street Journal says that Goldman Sachs' partnership may be shrinking. According to the article, at least a dozen Goldman partners may be announcing their departures uh, in the coming weeks. Joining us to talk about uh, what this means for the banking giant, Bethany McLean. She is Vanity Fair contributing editor, host of the podcast, Making a Killing. She's also a CNBC contributor. I guess I should still, when I hear Goldman partners, I should still think, whoa, you know, wow. But, but ever since they, you know, they, they changed from a partnership to publicly traded entity, I've, I really haven't the same, I haven't felt the same way about what it would mean to be a partner. At well, Goldman. there's that, then there's the financial crisis, right, and the transition to being a bank, and it's just, it's not the same firm anymore. Yeah. If you think of the storied Goldman Sachs, it was a trading powerhouse, and that business has never come back since the financial crisis, and now Goldman's trying to remake itself as a consumer and mid-tier corporate lender, which sounds just like everybody else, right? I, I mean, there's a nothing partner used to mean, about it. Uh, used to mean if you were there before and then it, it, it converted, I mean, it used to mean you had $100 million, did it not? Or That's, that's what I used to sort of think it. Close well, you were I, there I, during I, the IPO. If, if you were there during the IPO. So IPO. that's what I, and, right. and that's why I still think we go, ooh, Goldman partner, but it's, well, still... I think I think by calling the partnership ranks, they're trying to bring back some of that mystique to the partnership, really? right? I think that's that's part of the that's part of the. You goal. think it's a culture but thing, or do you think it's a we just got to trim all of these expensive older people? I think it's both that and it's a culture thing. It's an attempt to spin it as a culture thing by making it look right. like this is something you you can aspire to again. But it, it's not the same firm. I, it's I, I think those days are done. That's no, but that's that's the big well, question. What, then, your what is take the firm? your take is that David Solomon came in and went, wow. Um, I, I, think I, I can would, make a lot I, more money if I don't have all, all I think this. That there's there's a margin issue, bloated. and I think you have a lot of very. I mean, I, but I also think there's probably like a you know an age discrimination suit waiting to, to happen here because <laughs> are all these guys well, leaving? The, are, really? Are they just high paid or are well, they? No, but by the way, it used to be that you would retire, you would leave you Goldman would. Sachs when you were like 45 right. years old, 50 that was years part old. Part of the allure, right? Like right. work really hard and then well, have a lot of money. That's part of the problem. With. You make less money and now you want to stick around because right. there isn't any place else to go anymore. But to me, the biggest change at Goldman is just summed up. By the old trading business, Goldman was the house, right? And that was incredibly powerful. And the house, in the, as in the casino. As in the casino, right. right? And in these new businesses they're pushing into, they're just one of many with no real advantages. And so just think about that and what a drastic transformation right. that is for the firm. Although it does create more stability, right? If you're a big trading powerhouse and you have a bad quarter or a bad year or the market goes bad and you're not on the right side of things, it, there's it, a lot of volatility that can come does, with that, too. It does. There was another great Wall Street Journal piece recently on how indebted the middle class is and as you look at firms like Goldman pushing into lending to, to, to people you just wonder without a credit culture of managing those those losses without a small a culture of, of lending to people right yeah to know to know historically what happens what do you think right. I mean right. the, the folks that are leaving Goldman Sachs currently in this new round are we going to see this sort of Goldman diaspora, a vintage, a, a group that all of a sudden spreads out into all sorts of other industries and places? Are these people eminently hireable and are now the most attractive people in town? Are these people not hireable and there's sort of the Goldman brand around them? I think people are still hireable, but what's interesting is you are seeing people at Goldman leaving for other banks, right? And that never used to happen back in the day. And so that's 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 a real mark mark of a change, right? But you're also seeing people leaving for private equity right. and for hedge funds. I don't I don't I don't think there'll ever be any I don't the, think there'll ever be any negativity right. associated with How having much of this, though, partner. is also about and this does go to the culture piece. You have all these young people who were bumping up against these this partnership where nobody could really get into it and nobody could even move up the ranks because everyone was just sitting there. And they've been sitting there for the last decade, frankly, post-financial well, crisis. Well, Goldman really expanded the partnership. They made it a lot bigger. And right. some part of that was an effort to make legal and compliance functions as important as, as the trading functions. And so there is a sense that the partnership got bloated, right? So so I don't know that, I, 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 think, I think this is an effort to bring the cachet back to it in some ways. What's everyone else seeing this thinking right now? What, what Morgan Stanley thing, what are, are they all thinking, wow, our profitability isn't what we'd like it to be either. I mean, is this going to be the first shoe? I don't, I don't think anybody has figured out what they want to be in the years since the financial crisis, right? You have firms trying desperately. Everybody's doing wealth management. Everybody's trying to move into lending. But the, the, the investment banks of old are, 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 are gone. Yeah. You think Lloyd is glad he's out on, on Geffen's yacht, you know, hanging <laughs> out? And, uh, I think Lloyd timed his exit well, yes. Hanging out with Katy Perry. Yeah. You're on Instagram now? No, I saw that. It's everywhere. That, I mean, that it's, made it it's, onto Twitter. It's everywhere. It's a, it's a, and he's got a 
I don't think he can wipe that grin off his face for him. Uh, it's kind of weird that all the big buckety mucks like someone from Goldman, isn't it? I thought, I thought that I, was a I, giant squid on the... I don't envy David, David Solomon. I think he's got a tough job.